Hey there, I'm Mercedes Gonzalez from Global Purchasing based here in New York City. We are a retail consulting company and as you can see by my lovely accessories, I travel to quite a few trade shows every year. This is just six months worth of trade shows. I'm here to talk to you today about all the different exciting changes that are going on with the Magic Show in Las Vegas. In over 20 years of attending Magic, I have seen it go through so many changes and so many metamorphoses. I've been attending since it was just a men's show, and now it has over 12 different shows. It's like traveling around the world without having to have a passport. You'll find everything from high-end men's, to women's, to accessories, to children, to footwear, and the most exciting part that I love is the sourcing part of the trade show. At FM Platform, you're going to find a variety of footwear, everything from athletic, to comfort footwear, to specialty shoes like hiking shoes, children's footwear, at North Hall, you're going to find Stitch and Project Women's. Both shows have their own unique personality. At the North Hall, you're going to find the Pool Trade Show. Now, I have to say, if I had one favorite, it would have to be Pool. This is where you're going to find a lot of emerging designers. There's a small section of catch and carry. And you're going to find a lot of exciting and fashion forward items that are really important to have that kind of uniqueness in your store. Things that you're not going to be able to Google and find on Amazon. In Center Hall, you're going to find the men's area. Um, starting with the tents, you're going to see the more elevated brands there. Project, where you'll see the more sports-related and more denim-driven brands. And Magic Men's, which is the traditional, more formal clothing, where you'll find a wide variety of price points, too. Again, if you're new to the show, or even if you've been to the show many, many times, I can't stress enough the importance of walking through all the shows from all the different segments and market points. And it's really interesting how you might say, well, I don't carry men's in my store. You may not be carrying men's today, but the opportunity for having some men's, maybe during the holidays, Father's Day, Christmas, you know, Passover season, because just keep in mind that 80% of all men's apparel is bought by a woman. So having those impulse items is really important. Having that extra department is really important too, and you might find some really great opportunities at Children's Club. And again, you may not be a full-on children's clothing store, which for any boutique that carries children, this is a must shop. But having these ads on, just like we just went through Easter and Passover, having this mommy and me look is really important, especially carrying it through the whole spring with graduations in spring. So if you're looking for new opportunities in different departments to carry, I would explore these two opportunities. If you're curious to know which brands will be showing at Magic, you can download the mobile app. I absolutely adore sourcing at Magic. This is where you're going to look into the future. If you had a fashion crystal ball, this is where it is. You're looking at what the vendors, the manufacturers from many, many countries are coming to show that is at least a year in advance because here is where the designers, the emerging designers and established brands come to source and look for new fabrics, factories and production resources. You could do anything as simple as private label, you could do product development, or you could collaborate with some of the brands in developing a whole fashion collection. And your sourcing is WWD, also in the South Hall. WWD is the women's young contemporary and trend-driven apparel and accessories area. Trent Footwear sits directly upstairs on the second level. One of the most brilliant things I feel that the magic people have put together for us is the concierge service or the matchmaking. You can actually email one of the brilliant people that work at the show and they will tell you very specifically which vendors to go to to fit your needs. You could be as specific as I'm looking for petites, I'm looking for plus sizes, or I'm looking for extended sizes in footwear, and there is somebody that has that answer for you. This will be my 42nd time going to the show, and I have to tell you, when I first walk through those doors, I still feel overwhelmed. It is so important to be focused and know what you need and want to buy. And even though you might have specific appointments already set up, I can't stress the fact that you need to walk the whole show because you'll be surprised with all the things you didn't know you wanted to buy, that you needed to buy. So one of my best tips is plan your open to buy, but don't stick to it. Buy the things that you think are important, that you like, and then take the time to go back to your store, talk to the people in your staff, or even talk with yourself, and look at your budget and see what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Now, what I'm not telling you to do is write, order, and cancel them. You definitely don't want to do that. But when you write your orders at the trade show, you want to be able to put hold for confirmation, go back, take a look at your pictures, match up the prices, match up your budget, see what you're missing, see what you need to fill in, and then confirm your order. 
Another bit of advice is you definitely want to take an extra self battery pack with you. I don't know what it is, whether it is the Coventry sensor itself or the fact that you're snapping 9,000 pictures, but you eat through your cell phone battery, so you want to be able to have that backup. And the third tip is you want to dress show appropriate, fashion appropriate, which means to me you don't want to be wearing flip-flops or sweatpants or really look sloppy because at the end of the day we're not selling computers or pencils, we're in the fashion business. And the way that you present yourself, especially if it's your first time as a buyer, is very important. The next thing I want to tell you about comfort is there's no such thing as comfort when it comes to footwear. You're going to be walking a lot, it's a really big show, so my advice to you is to at least take a couple of pairs of shoes with you so that your foot gets a break in between. It's really interesting the networking that you could get done at Magic. That's why I really recommend taking the shuttle bus from your hotel to the show. I have met the most incredible people on that bus. I've also met the most incredible people during the lunch lines and the little networking events that they have. So make sure that you check your Magic app or the events that are happening, the real-time seminars that are happening, and pop-ups that happen throughout the show. You are in a desert, so it is so important to stay hydrated. So please do take advantage of the Buyer's Lounge where you'll find a computer that you can do some quick work, also where some of the seminars are being presented, and most importantly, they have coffee and water available to you. If you haven't registered, register early. You don't want to be there online. You don't want to be wasting time on that very long line that I want to say. And you also want to make sure that all your credentials are in place. They're going to be asking you for leases, for tax ID numbers. So you just want to make sure that all your ducks in a row. So register early and register online. We're all going to have a million more questions. So if you like, use the hashtag MagicReady and I'll be watching out for your questions. And also, don't forget to pick up my book, Chronicles of a Fashion Buyer. There are many, many stories that I tell here that are all magic related. So enjoy the show and let us know if we can help.